Um, how will the people either opposed to free market mechanisms or in doubt about their efficacy perceive this spineless backpelling by trust? And how do we free marketers defend markets when free marketers back down? Um, yeah, I mean, again, free markets are finished. That is, there is no defense of free markets in, um, um, in the UK. It's done because uh, Liz Trust will never have will never have the credibility to um, uh, to propose free market ideas again. She has lost it. And it makes it more difficult for us. Uh, look, I, I mean, I'd say even more than uh, trust backing down, it's the market response, which makes it difficult for us, right? If the market, the bond market, the stock market responds so badly to pro-market policies, then it, I, I agree it makes it very difficult for us, the free market advocates, to argue for it when seemingly the, the beneficiaries of free markets people participating in the marketplace are against it. So the whole thing is depressing, but it's very, very consistent with my view of the world. My view of the world is that there is nobody, no political force today that's pro-markets, that's pro-freedom. And, and the reason there's no political force, because I, I say this often, maybe not often enough, so I should say it again. We get the politicians we deserve. So it's not that the politicians are not free market enough, and it's not that uh, trust is not free market enough. It's that the people who voted for the Conservative Party are not free market enough. It's the Republican base that's not free market enough. So that the politicians are reflecting what their base wants. The taxi driver in London doesn't want taxes cut. He doesn't want deregulation. And he's the one who voted in Boris Johnson. So him and, and, and the, the, the working class in the North uh, uh, that flipped from Labour to Conservative, but they didn't change their economic policies. They're still basically statists when it comes to economics. So she can't buck the train. She can't go against her own voters. And the same in America. I mean, even if some free market had managed to get elected president, he couldn't actually pass anything because the voters don't want it. You can't cram it down their throat. And this is why I keep saying over and over and over and over again that the battle that we face is not a political battle. It's an educational battle. And, and, and we have to change the electorate, not our politicians. Speaking to politicians is a frigging waste of time. It gets you nowhere. What you need to do is change the voters. And that's hard. Because if they're old, then um, they're not going to change their mind. And if they're young, they tend to be leftists. Except in, uh, except in um, much of Europe which is interesting, brings us to the, the, the topic of Europe, but in much of Europe, young people are on the side of the populist right. Um, it's old people who are on the left. So, uh, you know, the, 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 the Swedish uh, Christian Democrats, who are the populist right-wing party in Sweden, again, not free markets, but populist right on cultural and immigration issues, young people voted for them. And generally, the right is is the, the the young but it's not the kind of right again it's not a free market right it's a, it's a populist right um the the right in um in italy is dominated by young people again not a free market right that's why i've said right and left don't describe the true political spectrum they describe the reality that the political spectrum that's out there but not the true political spectrum because for example, we, I, don't have a place on that spectrum. I don't belong in that spectrum. The real spectrum is individualism versus collectivism, and collectivism splits into two, right and left. There's no right or left individualism. There's only one individualism. So it's one line that then splits in two. One goes to the right, one goes to the left, one's collectivism on the right, one's collectivism on the left. So it's like a, it's like a, a, a fork with two two kind of prongs. Is that right? A fork with two prongs. Something like that. That's what it looks like. Uh, that's, that's the spectrum. That's the political spectrum. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. 
show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.